In this tutorial, we're going to focus on the different ways in which you can calculate the energy of a photon. So here's the first type of problem that you might see. So if you're given a frequency, how can we calculate the energy of a photon? You need to use this equation. Energy is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency. Now the value of Planck's constant is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds. And the frequency is 275 gigahertz, which we need to convert it to hertz. Now one gigahertz is a billion hertz. It's 10 to the 9. So therefore, it stands to reason that 275 gigahertz has to be 275 times that value, which is going to be 275 times 10 to the 9 hertz. So all you got to do is replace gigahertz with 10 to the 9. And that's a simple and quick conversion. So we got 275 times 10 to the 9. And hertz is the same as seconds to the minus 1, which is 1 over seconds. So the unit seconds will cancel, giving us the unit joules. Now let's multiply those two numbers. So 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 times 275 times 10 to the 9. So the energy per photon is 1.82 times 10 to the minus 22 joules. So that's the energy for each single photon. So you could write joules per photon if you want. That's the answer. Now let's move on to number two. How can we calculate the energy of a photon if we're given the wavelength in nanometers? Now there's two equations that we need to use. This one, Planck's constant times the frequency, and the fact that the speed of light is equal to the wavelength times the frequency. Now I'm going to solve for the frequency in this equation. So the speed of light divided by the wavelength is equal to frequency. You just got to divide both sides by lambda. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the frequency with the speed of light divided by the wavelength. So the energy of a photon is Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by the wavelength. So this is the equation that you want to use if you wish to calculate the energy of a photon given the wavelength of that photon. So it's going to be 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds multiplied by 3 times 10 to the 8, that's the speed of light, with the units meters per second, and the wavelength is 500 nanometers. Now a nanometer is 10 to the minus 9 meters, so 500 nanometers is 500 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. So we can see that the unit seconds will cancel and the unit minutes, I mean not minutes, but meters will cancel. So that leaves us with joules. So let's go ahead and type this in. So you should get 3.98 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per photon. And so that's the end of this problem. Now what about number three? What is the energy of five moles of photons with a wavelength of 240 nanometers? Now in the last example, we were given the wavelength in nanometers and we were able to calculate the energy of a single photon. Now we have to do the same thing but with a large number of photons. So first let's calculate the energy of a single photon. So we're going to use the same equation. E is equal to the Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by the wavelength. So it's going to be 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 multiplied by the speed of light and the wavelength, which is 240 nanometers, that's equivalent to 240 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. So go ahead and put those numbers in your calculator. So the answer that I have is 8.28 times 10 to the negative 19 
joules per photon. So that's the energy for a single photon. So now we need to calculate it for 5 moles of photons. Now we could set it up as a conversion process. So we're going to start with 5 moles of photons. Now, using Avogadro's number, we know that 1 mole of photons is equivalent to 6 times 10 to the 23 photons. And then all we need to do is multiply it by the energy per photon. So it's 8.28 times 10 to the negative 19 joules per photon. So first we have the unit moles of photons canceling and then just photons canceling as well. So now we have the total energy of 5 moles of photon in joules. So it's 5 times Avogadro's number multiplied by 8.28 times 10 to the negative 19. So you should get 2.49 times 10 to the 6 joules. 10 to the 6 is basically the same as mega. 1 megajoule is 10 to the 6 joules. So we can say that this is 2.49 megajoules. Now this problem builds on the previous problem. Excited carbon atoms can emit photons with a wavelength of 150 nanometers. Calculate the total energy of the photons emitted by 30 grams of carbon. So like before, we're going to find the energy per photon first. So we're going to use the equation hc divided by lambda. So h is the same. It's not going to change. And the speed of light is another constant, which has a fixed value. The only thing that's going to change is the wavelength. So 150 nanometers is the same as 150 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. So the energy per photon is 1.325 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. Now let's write per photon. Now the only thing that we need to do differently in this problem is just we need to convert grams to moles. And then everything else is going to be the same as the last problem. So we have 30 grams of carbon. And the atomic mass of carbon is 12. So one mole of carbon has a mass of 12 grams. So now that we have moles, we could change it to photons. We're going to assume that each carbon atom emits a single photon. So one mole of carbon is going to be equal to one mole of photons. Now, we weren't given any other information to determine a different ratio. So the best thing we could do is assume that a single photon is emitted by each carbon atom, unless stated otherwise, which the problem didn't say anything about that. Now, we know that one mole of photons is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 photons. So at this point, the unit moles of carbon cancels, and moles of photons cancels as well. Now let's multiply this by 1.325 times 10 to the negative 18 joules per single photon. So now these units cancel as well. So it's going to be 30 divided by 12 multiplied by Avogadro's number 6.022 times 10 to the 23 and then take that and multiply by 1.325 times 10 to negative 18. So you should get this number. Okay, I didn't want to delete everything, just a portion of the page. Sometimes this laptop just has some issues. 
So the number that I have is 1994787.5. So that's about 1.99 times 10 to the 6 joules. And as we said before, 10 to the 6 joules is equivalent to a megajoule. So it's 1.99 megajoules. So if each carbon atom emits a single photon with a wavelength of 150 nanometers, then if all atoms within a 30 gram sample of carbon, if they all emit a single photon, then the total energy emitted is 1.99 megajoules.